Happy Tuesday, Bobcat teachers and scholars. We are in for a terrific day of teaching and learning. Let's get started with the morning announcements. Bacat, bueno. Good morning, Tinecues, elementary students and staff. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which I, it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bacat F affirmation. Bacchetta parable. I think positively. I take ownership of my actions. I make wise choices. I am excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I will forgive others and myself. I am understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a Bacchetta. This has been Miguel Nehara and from Miss Carol's class. Remember at Santa Cruz Elementary, every school student counts and every moment matters. Stay tuned for the Bobcat broadcast. Now, every day, all of the Bobcats within our Santa Hill school should strive to display our foundational values. In order to do this, you must think about the three R approach, which is to be respectful, be responsible and to always be ready to learn. Scholars, today we are going to review our hallway expectations to ensure that everyone understands our three school wide rules and what they should look like in the hallway. So let's begin with being respectful. When you are being respectful in the hallway, you are respecting other students, your teachers, everyone's space in the hallway. And that is why you are to stand on your green squares. In addition, you are to follow the HALLS rules, the H-A-L-L-S rules. That means that your hands are to your side. Your eyes, all eyes are forward, lips are together, low speed, that means you are walking and not running, and single file means you are standing directly behind the person that is in front of you. So once again, halls is hands to your side, all eyes forward, lips together, low speed because you are walking and single file as you are standing directly behind the person that is in front of you to be responsible in the hallway means that you stand in the line and you keep your hands and your feet to yourself in order to be ready you do a silent wave so if you see someone in the hallway you don't you don't speak because remember our lips are together because we are on bobcat zone zero you wave you smile yes we can see that you are smiling with your eyes even when you have a mask on and you are to move quickly to your destination so scholars, in the hallway today, 
we expect for all scholars to be on Bobcat Zone Zero, to be respectful, responsible, and ready. And when you are following these three school-wide rules, your teacher should not have to talk to you in the hall. Remember, when you are in the hall at the restroom, there are classes who are trying to learn. If you are not following the rules, then your teacher has to speak to you, and that is disturbing classes where other scholars are trying to learn. And you know that every day we are building brilliant bobcats. So when your teacher has to talk to you in the hall, that is preventing other other scholars in the building from building their brilliance because they cannot hear what their teacher is saying because they are listening to your teacher having to tell you about the rules that you already know that you should be following so today all teachers will be handing out tallies for students that they have to talk to in the hallway because they should not have to talk to you in the hallway we have been in school. Today is day 86. 86 days we have been practicing. Your teacher will be giving you a tally. Sometimes, if they have to talk to you more than once, they will give you two tallies in the hallway because you know the expectations and we expect for all of our Bobcats to follow the expectations in the hallway. Today's SEL moment will be on the zones of regulation. The zones of regulation uh, involve you thinking about how you're actually feeling today. And there are four zones, the blue zone, the green zone, the yellow zone, and the red zone. In the blue zone, you kind of feel a little sad, sick, tired, bored. Uh, you just kind of sluggish, moving kind of slow. That's the blue zone. So scholars, I want you to think about as I talk about these four zones where you fit in and at the end of the announcements, I want you to be sure to do a check-in, an SEL check-in with your teacher today, telling her how you feel. So that's the blue zone. You kind of feel blue, sad. The green zone is when you feel happy, you're calm, you're feeling okay, you're focused, you are ready to learn. We want to be in the green zone as much as possible because that's how you can make sure that you are ready. Ready to learn at every moment of the day. But sometimes you feel or you fall into this yellow zone. The yellow zone is when you feel frustrated, worried, silly, wiggly, just can't be still. You're so excited that sometimes you kind of lose control. That's the yellow zone. We want to try to, when we're in the yellow zone, we want to try to move ourselves back to the green zone where we're calm and feeling okay and we're focused and ready to learn so if you ever find yourself in the yellow zone you're frustrated you're worried you're silly and wiggly and so excited you just can't control yourself just try to take a deep breath and calm down so that you can get into the green zone the green zone is where you want to be now ever so often some of us fall into the red zone. That's when you're uh, you're mad, you're angry, you're scared, when you start yelling, when you're hitting, when you're just out of control and you just cannot, cannot get yourself back to that green zone. The best thing to do, you can ask your teacher if you can have a moment to yourself. You can ask. Um, if you could just go to um, a corner and just take a deep breath, count to 10 so that you can calm yourself because remember, we're trying to get back to the green zone. You want to be happy. You want to be focused. You want to always be ready to learn. So I want you to make sure that you think about where you fall right at this moment so you can tell your teacher what kind of day you may be having. So let's think about those zones. Are you feeling blue, green, yellow, or red? Hmm. Teachers, you could stop at this time and do a SEL check-in and then finish the morning announcements with your scholars. As we continue to discuss our focus word of the month, which is empathy, 
and related to our foundational value of being respectful. Remember the definition of empathy is when you are able to share or understand the emotions and feelings of another person. Remember scholars, there are four elements of empathy. Number one, seeing the world from someone else's perspective. Number two, appreciating them as human beings. Number three, understanding other people's feelings. And number four, communicating that you understand. Now showing empathy involves all of these things, especially showing others that you care about them and stopping to think about how your reaction will affect other people around you. And lastly, using all of this information to regulate your own behavior. Today's example, you can see in this picture, these two scholars. It looks like one has her hand over her face. She looks like she may be a little sad. But her friend noticed that something is wrong. And she remembers that the last time she actually had her hand over her head like that, she was feeling a little sad. And so she walked over to check on her friend to see how she was feeling. When she did that, she was showing empathy. So make sure, scholars, that you are showing empathy to your classmates, checking on them when it looks like something is going on with them, because that's one of the ways that you can show our foundational value of being respectful. Today's classroom spotlight goes to our grade K scholars for doing an amazing job of showing our foundational values of being respectful, responsible, and ready to learn during math class on yesterday. Great job. Keep up the fantastic work. We do not have any birthdays to celebrate today. In our school-wide events and activities, scholars, I just want to remind you of the MLG and W Art Contest, where we are asking all scholars to create their own version of the Captain Mer Captain for this art contest. Just as a reminder, natural gas is one of the most reliable, efficient, and environmentally safe sources of energy. Nevertheless, natural gas is dangerous because it is flammable, which means that a flame or even a spark in the area of a natural gas leak could cause a fire or an explosion. That's where Captain Mer Captain comes to the rescue with his stinky spoiled egg smell added to natural gas for safety. We can easily recognize the presence of natural gas and leave the area immediately when Captain or Captain sends his stinky spoiled egg smell. So what do you think Captain or Captain should look like? This contest could earn you a prize of $125. Now the last day to enter this contest is December the 10th. It is almost December. On Wednesday, it's going to be December the 1st. So if you haven't taken the time to create your own version of Captain Mer Captain, you should do so today and bring it to the office so that we can turn your entry in so that you have the opportunity to win that $125. Don't you want to have $125 so that you can spend it on Christmas presents and buy your family something nice? I know that you do. I can't wait to get your entry. Entry. Scholars, it is that time again. We will be taking our Mastery Connect test 
soon. Our Mastery Connect test will begin. They may begin as early as Wednesday, December the 1st. So are you ready? Are you ready to become a brilliant Bobcat? or one of our rising stars. This is your next opportunity to be inducted into our club before the winter break. So make sure that you are paying attention over the next few days as your teachers will be reviewing some very important skills so that every scholar in our building has an opportunity to be inducted. We want all of our scholars to be brilliant Bobcats. I can't wait to see who we induct. And lastly, in our announcements today, scholars, I am so excited to announce that beginning tomorrow, we will kick off our adventures of bob and bobby elf at the hill i wonder what types of things bob and bobby will get into as we approach our next holiday break so we're going to have the 12 days of bob and bobby elf what do you think they're going to get into? We'll find out tomorrow. Stay tuned. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future. We will conclude our announcements with our victory roar. Say it with me. Together, we must believe, together we will achieve, together we are reimagining 901. Have a fantastic day of teaching and learning.